How's it going everybody? I'm Lewis and we've got a new update from the Old School RuneScape team. This is for the Angles outfit and Slayer. This week, in Old School, they have the release of the Fishing Trawler outfit, a handy set to earn you bonus fishing experience. They've also got a few additions to Old School that will please Slayers, as well as the release of the infrastructure for the in-game bug reports. So let's start off with the Slayer Task extensions. It's now possible to unlock extended Slayer Tasks for an additional 10 assignments. You can now purchase extensions for the following tasks. Bloodvelds, Aberrant Spectres, Aviancies, Mithril Dragons, Cave Horrors, Dust Devils, Skeletal Wyverns, Gargoyles, Necrils, and Cave Krakens. Unlocking task extensions individually will cost 100 points per task. If you choose to unlock all of your remaining task extensions at once, you will receive a small discount on the price. Effectively meaning if you save up a thousand Slayer reward points, you can unlock all of these task extensions for a slightly reduced price. So it won't actually be a thousand, it'll probably be something like 900. Next, Neve's Cave Expansion. Neve has been hard at work expanding her cave and the new areas are now finished. You can now head to the western end to find a number of new black demon, black dragon and blue dragon spawns. Next, the angler's outfit. When playing fishing trawler, you now have a slim chance of receiving one piece of the trawler outfit. On top of looking well and truly fisherman-like, each piece of the trawler outfit provides a small increase to the fishing experience gained whilst it's worn. The hat will provide 0.4% fishing experience bonus, the top will be 0.8% fishing experience bonus, the legs will be 0.6% fishing experience bonus, and the boots will be 0.2% fishing experience bonus. When the entire set is worn at once, you will receive an additional 0.5% bonus fishing experience, totaling 2.5%. There's never been a better time to try your hand at a fishing trawler. So, what are you waiting for? Perhaps it's the next update we've got this week, Slayer and Combat Requirements. Before this month, Slayer Masters would always check your combat level when choosing your assignments, ensuring they didn't assign you anything too tough. In practice, many Masters had extremely conservative ideas about what was too tough. For example, you couldn't get a Dark Beast task without 110 combat. They recently removed the combat requirements from tasks, allowing players to undertake tougher tasks than before. However, this wasn't always beneficial, especially for lower level players, who found themselves confronted with bronze dragons and other higher level creatures. In today's update, they've restored combat level checks to the tasks, but Slayer Masters now give you the option to disable these checks. Speak to your Slayer Master, either in person or via the Lunar Spell, to decide whether or not they should check your combat level when choosing tasks for you. Next up this week, we've got in-game bug reports. They've launched the infrastructure for in-game bug reports. You're now able to send reports to bugs without ever having to leave old school. The in-game report form will be found by right-clicking the report button found at the bottom of your chat tab. If you ever encounter a bug in game, you'll be able to use this form to notify the team and provide information that will help them get it fixed. This form is, without a doubt, the best way to get bugs addressed. If you find a bug, please let them know by using this report form. Finally, this week we've got all the other news. They've rebalanced Jurodel and Neve's Slayer assignment lists. It's no longer possible to remain in the stance of sitting on a sled when leaving Trollvice unexpectedly. The topology of the Amulet of the Damned has been improved to reduce clipping. An issue where it would act as if the player was on the south side of the shortcut at the Lava Dragons, despite being on the north side, has been fixed. The task to make a Guthic's Balance Potion in Mauritania will now tick off if you're anywhere in Mauritania, not just at ground level. They've added messages for mixing a Guthic's Balance Potion to the game filter. It's no longer possible to smuggle the team hats from trouble brewing. And the Wedge now tells you the correct amount of teleports to Sherlock you gain for completing the Elite Kandaran Diary in his reward dialogue. So what a nice update we've got this week. It's not particularly massive, well I suppose when we think we've got the Abyssal Sire on the way, that's going to be quite big. However, it is something substantial. We've been given various balances from the Slayer assignment rework that we got last week, which sounds quite good. The one thing I'm a little bit unsure about was the fact they've made it so you can now disable or enable the fact that a Slayer Master will check your combat level. Something I'm questioning whether they should have polled, because they did poll the original change. However, I suppose if there were a lot of balancing issues, then I think it'd be best for them just to do it like they have. It's not really going to affect that many people. Although, if you've been watching a lot of my videos, you'll know that I do not like unpolled content. Something I do like, however, is the new angler outfit, which kind of reminds me of the fishing outfit you got from Fish Flingers in RuneScape 3. Obviously this comes from Fishing Trawler, so hopefully it'll bring a lot of life into that minigame. It's a minigame I've not actually touched myself, and I've noticed that people don't really tend to play it. It's one of those minigames that people look at and just say, no I can't do that. And if someone is trying to play it, they really struggle to find a group. If you want to discuss this update, please go on the forums or in my comments below. 
If you want to watch the latest Old School Runescape Get Deathlock, please click here for Content Pole 36. And if you want to watch the latest Old School Runescape Get Pole, please click here for the Sailing Skip. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and share, and if you want to keep up to date with the Old School Runescape Get Updates, Deathlocks and Poles, please subscribe. I've been Lewis, thanks for watching, goodbye.